This would be a disastrous profile for hair loss. Hey guys, Fitness Science here. Today we're going to be discussing whether testosterone has any link to hair loss and more specifically whether replacing testosterone through testosterone replacement therapy has any link to accelerating the rate of hair loss. I've teamed up today with my friend Cohen from TRT Community. You can go and check his channel out here. He has a really good channel all about testosterone replacement therapy, fitness, and his general lifestyle. And he provides a really good overview of all topics related to testosterone replacement. He has a great sense of humor. His videos are super entertaining and he's just a generally awesome guy all around. So go check him out and consider subscribing to his channel because it's absolutely wonderful. Now, in terms of testosterone biology, all us men have a little enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. Now that's found all across our body, but interestingly, some of the highest concentrations of this enzyme are actually found in our skin and our skin as in our scalp where we lose our hair has very high concentrations of 5-alpha reductase. And this enzyme converts about 10% of our testosterone to something called dihydrotestosterone, DHT, which is a really more potent version of testosterone and is over two times as anabolically active as testosterone. It's really potent and has a great variety of effects, one of which unfortunately is hair loss. DHT seems to be the main culprit in male balding. Many studies have shown a link between higher levels of DHT and hair loss. And in fact, men with higher levels of DHT in the actual skin of their scalp typically have higher levels of hair loss compared to men who have lower levels of DHT in their scalp. And because DHT is so powerful and much more anabolically active than testosterone, it can bind to the androgen receptors and we do have androgen receptors in our scalp very, very quickly and very, very powerfully so it has a great affinity for the androgen receptor and can then regulate a number of key processes in the scalp of our skin through the androgen receptor and there is some research to show that in the actual level of the skin where the follicle bud itself grows from there are androgen receptors that surround the follicle there and when DHT binds to those androgen receptors very close to the actual hair follicle itself, it can actually inhibit the ability of the hair follicle to then grow and send out new proteins in order to make our hair. But then the question is, if everyone has 5-alpha reductase and is converting testosterone to DHT, why do some men go bald and others don't? Well, it has to do with genes. No, not those genes. Genes, as in genetics. You see, some men just unfortunately will be genetically predisposed to having higher levels of hair loss than others. And the reason for this is because some men have both a higher androgen receptor content as well as higher circulating hormones, all of which can lead to an increased conversion of testosterone to DHT and therefore affecting the ability of the hair to actually grow. So the worst possible genetic profile for someone for balding would be someone who's a man, has very high levels of endogenous testosterone production, which would lead to higher levels of DHT being produced, who also had very high levels of androgen receptor expression in the scalp skin and who also had very high levels of 5-alpha reductase enzyme activity, this would be a disastrous profile for hair loss and this person would bald very, very quickly and probably at a very, very young age. And now that we know that increased androgens, specifically DHT, have a huge impact on hair loss, we can start to understand why testosterone replacement therapy may actually accelerate this process. You see, with testosterone replacement therapy, the main goal is to bring a man back to normal or at least high levels of testosterone that they didn't have previously. And by doing that, you're essentially you know, increasing the DHT that's being produced and the DHT then can inhibit the hair follicle from actually growing. Couple this with very unfortunate genetics, as in high androgen receptor content, as well as high levels of 5-alpha reductase activity, and you really have a recipe for very early hair loss. And there is some research to show that hormones actually make it directly into our hair follicles, like I've been saying. Nine men who were given testosterone injections had a significantly higher amount of testosterone in their actual scalp and their actual hair than men who didn't receive injections. So hormones certainly make their way into our hair and it becomes a concern when our DHT is making its way into our hair follicle and surrounding the hair follicle. That's when you will start to get huge amounts of hair loss. So in conclusion, the genes for hair loss do have to be present and you have to have some unfortunate factors that you really can't choose. You're given by your parents and your genetics. But if they're present, then TRT will probably accelerate your hair loss. And it's really this combination of genes and hormones that will essentially make you lose your hair if the stars align. If only the stars were alive.
And really, if you have the genes and hormones, you probably would have lost your hair anyway. It's just that TRT will accelerate the process. Millions of men who've never touched testosterone in their life do lose their hair, and this is just because they have unfortunate genes and probably high levels of testosterone production. So is there anything that you can do? Well, finasteride, which is a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, actually shows a lot of promise in slowing down and reversing hair loss because it stops the conversion of testosterone to DHT. Four weeks of finasteride treatment successfully reduced scalp levels of DHT in men who were taking finasteride. And just going back to what I said earlier, for some proof that DHT conversion actually leads to hair loss and is the key driving factor, the men in the study who were bald on average had double the amount of DHT in their blood and their scalp when compared to the men who had a full head of hair. So overall, it's genes and hormones, and if the stars align and your genes are already there, TRT will accelerate the process of hair loss, but you probably would have gone bald anyway. It's just that TRT is speeding the whole process up. So it's really like if you go on TRT and your genes are bad, then maybe expect some hair loss. There's not really much you can do about that unless you want to take finasteride on top. Some people mention a few nasty side effects with finasteride, but it seems to be relatively rare and you should always speak to your doctor. That's the science of hair loss. That's the science of testosterone replacement therapy and hair loss. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. New videos will be coming out very soon. Fitness science is all about keeping you healthy and safe in the fitness industry and providing the quality research and literature to do this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.